Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cadence of Hyrule on Playframe. My name's Dan, and we're gonna try this game out. I have not played it before. Uh, th this is an indie game made by the folks who made Crypt of the Necrodancer. It basically is Crypt of the Necrodancer, but now Zelda-themed. That Nintendo actually let them do a Zelda-themed version of Crypt of the Necrodancer, which I think is so cool. And I only played a little bit of Crypt of the Necrodancer, which is kind of weird because it's a rhythm game, and that's just very much my jam. Wish I could tell whether white or yellow was what I was selecting here. I'm assuming yellow. Uh, so, okay, back. Let's let's just go. Let's just go into it. It's gonna be great. And new game. Begin. Okay. Press up when you hear the sound. Oh, this is to calibrate. That's a good thing to do. Uh... Okay, when the Triforce pulses. Sorry, I know this isn't fun to watch, but it is important. Because all TVs introduce just a few milliseconds or a few hundred milliseconds of latency. And that latency can be very frustrating when it comes to rhythm games. <laughs> if, uh, what you're seeing and what you're hearing and the inputs you're supposed to be putting in are just slightly desynced. It's very annoying. Anyway, hopefully that's, uh, good. So, um, yeah. Every world has its evils. And when the balance of power is inevitably lost, <laughs> it's up to the courageous and the wise to restore it. But sometimes... Sometimes... They need a little extra help! I love it. And these are fun tunes, too. All right. Oh, look at it. So pretty. All right. Hey, hey, you. I saw you fall from the sky. That landing wasn't very graceful. Are you okay? Oh, you're not Hylian? So you're new in here. I'm Trill. Nice to meet you. <laughs> look at her bobber head. Love it. Looks like you can still move. I'm glad you're not injured. But you have unfortunate timing. Something strange has been going on in Hyrule. So you move around in these games kind of on beat. Or you're supposed to anyway. Like, you can keep moving like this, but I think you uh, do much better if you uh, move on rhythm. Which probably means I better turn this up a little bit so I can hear it. Hopefully that won't be too bad on the mic. What's this over here? Ah. Okay. Into the temple. Neat. Looks like there's some dead wood in your way. Can you find something to help you get past it? I'm stumped. That's cute. Uh, da, da, da. I noticed some stairs over to the left. Maybe try those? Oh, those are stairs. Oh, okay. I thought that was just another wall. Oh, nice. Plus one vision radius. Ooh, neat. So, if I recall correctly, and again, I did not play a whole lot of Crypt of the Necrodancer. It's actually quite hard <laughs> as a game, but, uh... Great, you use your torch to burn the stump. But careful, items you can see up in this area have limited use and will break over time. Uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer was sort of like a roguelike, right? Oh, that's a step. Nice. Okay. Um... Oh, this forces me back. Okay, cool. Well, they're not forcing me to do anything on rhythm yet, so I'm not going to bother. It's gonna charge. Oh, wait. Watch out, this monster is not friendly. And do you hear the intense music? Whenever enemies are around, everyone's forced to move to the beat of the song. Okay, so I'll just try to stay on rhythm. 
Now what? I think it's so long as I stay on rhythm. Yeah, I don't know what difference the rhythm makes in terms of, uh... In terms of, like, damage doing or whatever. I guess I should test this. Let me... Now, the good news is that monsters always dance in simple patterns. Learn their patterns and you'll always be able to defeat them without taking damage yourself. Okay. Yeah! Okay, I can do this. This is fun. This monster has a very simple pattern, too. He moves every second beat and puts his arms up before he jumps. Yeah, I gotcha. So far, so good. A wide attack. Lovely. Break some stuff. Come here, you. Wow, with that broadsword, you can defeat three enemies at once and strike enemies around corners. Being able to fight monsters without getting right next to them could come in handy. Oh, and what good tunes. All right, I'm doing all right here. Whew, that intense music stopped because the enemies are gone. Now you can move as fast or slow as you like. Oh, that's good. Okay. So them's the rules. I still feel like there's some more intricacies to this that I need to, uh, pick up, but... Wow, you're fast with a shovel. <laughs> I am. And you seem right at home in this dark, spooky crypt. What kind of place are you from? Another game. I love that Nintendo has actually allowed them to do this. That is so cool. I hope they continue allowing really good indie devs to do cool stuff with their properties. That'd be rad. What? Look at these weird portals. You can see my friends inside of them. If anyone can figure out what's going on in Hyrule, it's Link and Zelda. But it looks like these portals are only one way. Will you visit Link? Or Zelda? It's gotta be Zelda. We've spent way too much time with Link altogether. Zelda time! Hello! Who are you? At first I was alarmed when you fell from the sky, but then I saw that Trill was with you, so I know you must be trustworthy. Thank you. Wake up! That flash, it looked like the Triforce. I knew you were special. Thank you for helping to wake Zelda. She's been asleep for a while, so I'm going to stay with her to explain what's going on in Hyrule. You should try to find your way home. I hope our paths cross again someday soon, friend of Hyrule. Sounds like you're going to be busy for a while. I'll be around looking for a way to get back to my world. I hope to see you again. Bye! Oh, I'm Zelda now! Yay! Give me that dagger. <laughs> ah, she's so adorable. Love it! All right. To adventure! Some great pixel animation, too. I'm so happy you're awake, Zelda, but a lot's changed in Hyrule while you've been asleep. It's very rhythm-based now. I'll stick with you to help make sense of everything. Alright. Got a shovel? Can dig through walls. Can do. Oh, I missed the beats. Oh, so if I miss the beat, I don't get to move or take the action, so... Ow! <laughs> I got pumped into the item. You got Nehru's love. It's automatically assigned to R, and only Zelda can use this. Use it at the right time to reflect projectiles or melee damage from all directions. If your timing is one beat early, you can still block the damage. Nice! Yeah, gotcha. Took me a second to figure that out, but I did it. Hmm, let's see where I'm headed now. Want... Oh, I need to use the, uh, the thing. Yikes. Better get a heart or something. <laughs> even the little seed. Get him. Come on. Protected. Oh, I need stamina. You tried to perform a technique, but it failed because you have no stamina remaining. I gotcha. Fighting enemies will restore your stamina. Well, I'm trying to. Or you can find a stamina potion. Poke your head up. 
I need stamina. Oh well, I guess I don't have to have that 50 rupees. I just want to have that 50 rupees. Hey look, it's a Sheikah Stone! Did you know that if you're defeated, the fates will return you to the world at any Sheikah Stone you've activated? This game is so pretty. I love it. Uh, so cute! You remember Octavo, the musician who put you to sleep? While you were sleeping, he looked, locked up your father and sealed off Hyrule Castle. The seal can be broken only by besting his four champions. Zelda, we need to travel the world to find and defeat those four champions. You got it. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Enjoy the good tunes, especially because sometimes it's difficult to talk while playing this. <laughs> oh, geez. That's what that does. Oh, these things have specific effects. Okay, weird. <laughs> this chest is very special. To unlock the chest, defeat all enemies without taking damage and without missing a beat. Oof, tall order, but okay. Well, I took damage, so... I'm gonna have to get good. You have a lot of health. Whew. Oh no, you're badly hurt. But don't worry, it looks like the fates are watching over you. Continue. You may have left some fragile gear and rupees behind, but you still have the rest of your items. Oh, that's good. And in this special shop, you can spend your diamonds to buy something to help you when you return to Hyrule. That's nice. I don't have diamonds. Well, I have one diamond. So I guess I'm getting a torch or a shovel. Hmm... Let's get the torch. Hello, dear. This is where adventurers with unfinished business end up. Looks like the fates aren't done with you yet. Why not take something along to help you on your quest? You never know what might come in handy in the future. This is neat. Okay, so it is very roguelike then. You can now choose which Sheikah stone you'd like to return to. Uh, activate as many Sheikah stones as you can. It'll make things much easier for you. Seems like. Ah. <laughs> so rhythm I can do, but strategizing around the rhythm I definitely need to learn some things about. Some chests like this one remain locked until you defeat all enemies on screen. The longer you defeat enemies without missing a beat or taking damage, the more power is stored in the beat indicator. If you keep your streak going, enemies will drop more diamonds, you'll regain stamina more quickly, and enemies will even drop more and better loot. Nifty. Okay. Alright, definitely not hitting that chicken. I know what comes from that. You. Show me your head, again, so I can hit it. Fine. Oops. Open up. Hmm. Yeah. Doing badly. Hmm. So this is not working out. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, geez, that one can attack diagonally. All right, let's just go up. Let's slow things down a bit. Whoops. Oof, there's a lot that you gotta, like, <laughs> be able to process at once, and I've not learned it yet. I'm gonna get it, though. I have one diamond. This time I'll get, um, yeah, the shovel. Uh, this time, let's go here, and let's go in a different direction. This is nifty. Oh, can I go this way? No, I can't. That's alright. I guess we're still going this direction. Now let's go up. And let's not die. What does this do? 
Oh, it's a bomb. Cool. Alright, so those guys you just walk right in front of once. Alright. Getting the hang of it. What does this do? I can do it. Ooh, a bomb. Lovely. How do you use bombs? All right. Halfway out of health. How do I get up there? All right. Doing okay. Only one left. Keep the rhythm going. We got this, Zelda. Okay, looping around. We can do this. Oh no. Haha. <laughs> Punk. Torch of Wisdom. Neat. Oh, I'm swapping out items here, I see. All right. Got him! Diamonds will drop only once the last enemy on screen is defeated. Neat, okay. Unlike rupees and keys, diamonds won't be lost when you get a game over. You can spend them at special shops you'll find throughout the world. Nifty. Hmm. Wonder what the big rolly boulder's for. Actually, hang on, I want to go up and hang a left. I, I say a left. Yeah, I don't care about the beats. Come on. Okay, this way. What's over here? A lot of enemies. Well... Okay. So much concentration. Oops. Should have known that that one was going to go diagonal. I'm getting it! Y'all, I'm getting better at this. Partly by not talking. <laughs> Which isn't ideal. But sometimes that's just what it is. Whoa! Neat. So some of these wake up. Alright. So if I go up here... Oh, and with the item sight item, I can see that that shovel's in that chest. Nifty. So a better shovel. Cool. Yeah, the roguelike elements of this are kind of cool. Anyone else? What's this down here? Huh. Hmm. Ooh, found a thing. Whoa, well, my. A little intimidating. Yikes. Oh no, your items broke. Which one? Be sure to keep an eye on the durability of your items here. Try to replace worn items before they break. That makes sense, I guess. Was it the shovel? Jeez. Oh no, I have died. <laughs> Again. Uh... All right, you know what? Let's call it for today. I'll, I'll do one more of these. One more episode of this, just to uh, try to see if I can get any better at it. This is very cool, though. Highly recommend. It's called Cadence of Hyrule, and it is on Switch if you're interested. So, I'll see you all tomorrow for some more of this. Uh, have a good one. Goodbye!